Welcome um, to this presentation on um, some of the tools that you will be needing in order to create data-driven visual narratives. Um, it's you know it, it's it's a dangerous field to go into, so you know please bear in mind this is based on my experiences and you know which tools cover my needs. So that's because I I say something don't you know start a big row about it. It's um, it's my experiences and it's you know catering for my needs. Um, so with that little well don't kill me thing, um, let's start. Um, I have in um, in earlier videos or presentations talked about um, the different stages that we go through in, from our domain to our um, audience. So that's different processes. You can watch that video um, if, if, about that. But basically, you know, what I will start with here is I'll talk about some of the tools that fit in in those different processes. So one of the first processes we have is that we have received our data and, um, and we need to um, load our data, clean the data and things like that. Um, and that can be rather complicated. You know, some, it's not always you get nice clean data. Sometimes it can be rather messy what you get. So there's tools for that and um and tree factor um Det wrangler is um is one software that is dedicated to finding errors in doing quality control uh, refining and reorganizing data um so it's you know if that's what you do it's a fantastic tool it's free you can download it from that web link um and it's really marvelous and you know especially if you're doing it quite a lot that is an important tool to have um in it there's you know tons and tons of visualizations small graphs really neatly thought through in order to make a good workflow um so it's easy to see oops there might you know that there's many mistakes or errors in data set I really first noticed when I started using this tool. So a good tool um, to use, but it is specialized. I mean, if if you're not um, loading new data in, or if you're quite sure that your data is really nice, well organized, it might not be worth it uh, learning it. But on our hand, because it is so specialized, it's, um, it doesn't have a lot of really complex things. It's relatively easy to do rather advanced things with it. The tool that everyone knows and probably everyone loves to hate, or however, is spreadsheets. Um, they um, they are, can be used, but remember that they spreadsheets are extremely sensitive to changes in the input data size. So they are often one-off solutions no they're not if you're going to receive data each month for each year so then spreadsheets typically are not a good solution um, they're really good for going in and hitting the individual cells and changing it they typically have a reasonable well understandable programming language um, and with features such as name ranges and pivot tables um, it's you can really go far away with them. It's it's um, it is one size fits all tool, but you know it might not just be the best tool if you're really working a lot with this. Um, and finally, um, spatial data. Ah, um, although it, there is some add-ons you can buy to use spatial data in spreadsheets. It's not really um, their strong side, so there's a limitation there. Data visualizers, um, they are also highly specialized software. So just like data wranglers, they, um, they, they just do one thing in this process, they visualize data. Um, okay, they, they, can, they can be used different, 
they but you know that's their main focus um they typically don't have so much they're relatively limited in their analytical power or maybe it's you know a bit more hidden and difficult to get at um and they have extreme uh, detail in the way that they can control your visualizations um so um so it's really um it's it, 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 they they're good for 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 really for the visualization part and to some degree also doing the analysis finally um but they they also um they they, they can do um uh, visual narratives to some degree it's not really that it's surprisingly not um so central in but depending on the software um uh, we'll i'll be talking um about tableau um, and tableau has also quite a lot of control or visual narratives and there's also quite a lot of analytical methods built into it um so many are of, of, of the programs available are, um, are program libraries um, to go into interactive web applications so so and the most common the most known the classic of them all is uh, d3 js so it's a javascript library so you program it in javascript and it's really the the ultimate tool for doing whatever visualizations on the web geographic information systems or gis um, is again a specialized software um, and specialized at working with uh, of uh, spatial data um, but you know they, they, they can also do all things um, it's um, typically they will have um, tools for creating narratives um, but remember here that um, a map is a visual narrative so we are making a map it's not just one little data visualization of what we call a data frame in in cartography so this is where but it's also a scale bar and a heading and there can be charts and things like that also on your map um, they are typically not so many powerful statistical um, um, tools for working with uh, for non-spatial data um, and they typically have some form of programming interface to um, to a language like Python. Um, so those things that I'll be covering next really also are built in, but you probably need to be a bit nerdy to use them. Um, so fine group is these programming based tools. Um, the classical ones are Python and R. Um, Python is a really high level programming language um, so it, they try to abstract as many of details as possible so you can focus on the problem um, and there's lots and lots of specific libraries for this programming language that are specified at both data wrangling so cleaning and reorganizing data so um, a library like pandas is a really classic one there and there's also lots of libraries um, for doing visualizations such as matplotlib it was also a classical one there um, python is um, for these reasons probably um, become the default programming language in the domain of of, of for, for, for gis so both qgis and arc gis they all have um, Python as their key programming language. R is a bit the other way around. Um, so R is a specific, it's an application with its own programming language. So R is really strongly focused on doing analysis and also has quite a lot of tools for visualization. Um, so basically what you do you install r and then you'll give it give you this programming environment this integrated development environment ide that where you can sit and then you write your visualizations so it, it that it can have a relatively steep learning curve 
if I'm going to try and summarize this, and this is where probably there can be lots of um, of uh, disagreement, we can look. I've just tried to to summarize these different things. So all the green columns they are when we talk about spatial data. So data wranglers, yep, they are the ones to use for um, data visualization for loading data and so on. Um, I won't talk you through um, this um, table. You pause the video and look in some details. Um, one thing I should mention that some of them you can see uh, in, in the bottom right I have two slash five. Um, it's especially these programming languages. They are um, you can really program do advanced visualizations, but it is something of a learning curve to learn to write a program that generates a nice visualization. So, you know, if you're not willing to overcome that learning curve, it's, they are not very good. But once you've learned them, they're yeah, really powerful um, tools also for the visualization. So, with this, I'll finish this um, video presentation on the different tools. Remember, as I said to start with, this is based on my experiences and my needs. And there's probably lots of tools and lots of needs that I haven't covered, but this is a way to start. So thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in one of my other presentations. Bye.